Corn is the number one grain crop grown globally. There's more corn grown in the world than any other crop. It feeds billions of people, and it's found in almost every product you see in the supermarket. Over 40,000 different products use corn. Almost every kind of food we eat has corn in it at some point. It's also finding lots of applications in other areas now too. Unfortunately, the vast majority of corn farmers suffer from a problem that's known as stock lodging. So as the, as the corn stock grows, just before harvest, typically storms come through, rainstorms and windstorms, and they knock over the corn stalks. You know, they lose five to 25% of their crop due to stock lodging. So the problem that we're trying to address is the, this problem of corn stalks falling over. Hundreds of scientists before us have investigated this problem. They've been mostly biologists and agronomists, farmers, plant scientists. They've always approached the problem from a, from a chemical or from a biological perspective. We're taking a unique approach to the problem of stock lodging and that we're looking at it from an engineering perspective. So we've started by investigating corn in the fields to find out what kinds of failures happen, what does the failure look like when it happens, where does it happen, and we've tried to classify those types. It's called an engineering failure analysis to find out, what, first of all, what's going wrong. It usually happens just above these things, like if they look like bamboo, look like knuckles. It usually happens just above these. And so we want to know why it happens always there. It doesn't happen here in the middle, where it looks thinner. It's actually stronger there. And so we're trying to find out what area do we need to strengthen so that we can make the whole stock stronger. And that's, that's the engineering approach to a, a biological problem. We look at the stalks with microscopes. We can cut the tissue and look at the different directions of the tissue. We can look at it um, along the fibers or against the fibers. We have scanning electron microscopes that we can look at to see very, very detailed images of a very small uh, scale. And then we also use, to get a better idea of the overall shape of the stalk in general, is we use x-ray scanning to get to build 3D, 3D models digital models of the corn stock. So we try to use different tools to look at the stock at different scales, from the whole stock down to little you know, intermediate level down to the very micro scale. Our group is kind of funny because we have, there's two of us who we call the, the crazy idea people, that's me and Dan. And Margaret and Simeon, they try to keep us on track the best they can. They're very detail oriented. And so they try to watch us and make sure that we don't spend too much time drawing on the windows and uh, and talking about new ideas because if you let Dan and I go, we will talk about crazy ideas all day long. And it works together very well. Um, we all collaborate with each other very well and we are able to generate solutions that none of us could ever come up with on our own. I think everything we do is a kind of a pioneering effort. I, I think it's groundbreaking. I think you don't know if you're breaking the ground until maybe you've broken it. Structural engineers trying to analyze the corn stalk and figure out where the stresses are the highest, where are the weak spots on the corn stalk. We're the only people doing that. The project has a lot of potential, so we're really hopeful and optimistic that the work that we're doing will have a lot of benefit. There's lots of ways, I think, in which engineering can start to work with biology and make progress.